Okay, fifth grade, lesson 118. This is on using zero as a placeholder. And then also we're going to learn about dividing decimal numbers by ten, hundred, and a thousand. Okay? Kind of fun. All right, now, let me show you something. We're going to kind of work with what we did just a while ago. Okay, write that down. Five. And 0 0.6. All right. Now, let's work this like we normally would. 5 will go into 0. Do you want to skip that 0 and move to the 6? Yes. Okay. Let's go on. What's our very first step, though? One Remember? time. Move the decimal up. Move the decimal up. 5 times 1 is 5. Bring down. And get, we get 1. Got that? See that? Okay. Time yeah. out. Now, what I've taught you so far is that you would bring the 1 up and the 5 over. Yeah. There's a problem with this. What? If it was not a decimal number, you would be exactly right. That's the answer right there. Okay. Okay, but because it's a decimal number, decimal numbers are opposite of fractions or mixed numbers. They're not opposite, but you can't put them all together. Yeah. You can't put a mixed number as a decimal number. Okay. You got what I'm saying? Yes. Okay, so it has to be just a decimal number. So, I'm going to teach you something new to do if you have decimal numbers in here. So, okay. ready? Okay, so you're right here on this step. Get. Okay. You know what you can do? Do you remember me telling you? I can add zeros to this as much as I want. It doesn't change anything. So, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to add a zero. Okay. We're going to add your zero. Add a zero after the six. Yep. And we're going to bring him down to help oh. us out. Okay. Okay. Now, will five go into ten? Two times, yes. Two times. Okay, I don't have to pull this over just a tad. Okay. Okay. Two times five is ten, and we get even. We're done. Okay. See how we did that? Yep. So, when you're doing decimal numbers... You can go in and add zeros as long as you want until you get your final answer up here because yeah. we can't just use our remainder anymore. Yes. If it's a decimal number. We can use remainder if it's yeah. normal. Okay? Let's try another one just so you can get used to this. Okay? 0 0.3 divided by 4. Okay. Okay? Ready? Let's start going from 4 into 3. Zero times. Okay, what's my very first step? I just forgot it. Uh, move the little thing out. Nope. Yep, move the thing up. Good job. Okay, now, four times three. Three. I mean, zero. Zero. Zero times four is zero. Three. Okay, what should I do? Okay. Uh, move the three down. Well, we did zero times four is zero, and subtracted and got three. Oh, then we add another zero. We're going to add a zero. Bring him down. Four okay. goes on the 30. Um, 7 times 4 is 28, and 8 times 4 is 32. Yeah, it doesn't go even. It's so, easy. 7? Yeah. That's without going over? So, let's do 7 times 4, 28. 28. I subtract. Then two. Get two. Okay, we still have not come to a zero yet. So we add another. We're gonna add another zero. Bring him down. Four. We're going to twenty. Uh, twenty five times. Five times. Five times four is we twenty. We can add another five. And guess what? We finally get done. We come to a zero at the end, which okay. is what we're wanting to do. Okay. Got it. You feel like you understand it? Yeah. So sometimes we may have to put more than one zero. To finally get to an end. Yeah. Okay. So we're finally done. Point zero seven five. Okay. Got it? Yep. Let's do one more. Three point four divided by ten. Okay. Okay? You don't have to do this one you can just watch. Okay? How many times will ten will that go into three? Uh no. Will it go into thirty four? Yep. Yes, but what should I do with this decimal? Bring it up. When it's a little up. Good job. So 10 goes into 34. Um, we three just times. Pretend like that's not there. Three times. Three times? Three times three 10 30. is 30. 30. 
What should I do? Add another zero. Add another zero. Bring them down. Ten up one to forty. Four times. Very good. Four times ten. Forty. Ones were done. Point three four. Now I'm gonna write that at the top. Point three four for just a minute. We did three point four divided by ten and got this answer. Huh. 3.4 divided by 10 equals this. Now, stay with me for a minute. Do you remember when we were doing times numbers with zero at the end? 10, 100,000? Yeah. Do you remember what to do with the decimal? No. Okay. It's kind of cool. When you are multiplying by 10, 100,000, you take how many zeros there are and, and add them to the move end. Move the decimal. Oh. One spot to the right. So since there's one zero, we're going to take 3.4 and move this decimal one spot to the right. So 3.14 times 10 is 34. No, no pay attention to this one yet. Okay. Okay. 3.4 times 100 is 3.4. How many spots are there? It'd be three. It'd be three. Three four zero point. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, there's two zeros, so I move my decimal. Uh, I mean three, one, two. Three, four, zero point. 